We have many tools inside our Google Apps domain besides just Docs. If you are logged into Google Docs, right up next to Documents is a powerful tool called Google Sites. And inside of Google Sites, you're actually able to create websites. And you, of course, can do this for yourself, and students can do it themselves. But one of the great ways of using Google Sites is creating collaborative websites within your class. So you can have multiple students within the class editing the same site. If you click on Create New Site, you can create a new site. Let's just say that I was going to call this My Great Collaboration. I can choose a theme. And I can also decide if I'm going to collaborate with everybody at Fairview Park Schools or only people I specify can view this site. I'm going to choose only people that I specify if I'm going to work on this with my class. I can always make it public later. Once I've created the site, I can go up to More Actions on the right and choose sharing and permissions and I can add people to be able to make changes to this site so if I wanted to add one of my students here's a sample student I can allow them to edit this site press share and save and the next time the student logs in and goes to Google Sites they'll be able to make changes to this site this is a great way for collaboration. For example, if your students create presentations or projects or if they're, they're all studying the same um, topic within a group, they can build these collaborative websites together. You'll notice that when you're working in Google Sites, it's very simple to use. If you click on Edit Page at the top, it looks pretty much like Google Docs. You have your same tools up here. And because it's a Google tool, you can insert anything that you've already created in Google Docs. So if a student has created a presentation or if they've created a slideshow or a map, you can use any of these down here to automatically add those to the site. You, of course, also can add images and videos and things like that. If I need to add more pages, I just click on Create Page, and it will automatically create a new page And once that page is created, it will also make a link to that page over here on the left. You'll notice then, any time that I log back into Google Docs and I go to Sites, that site will be listed in your list of sites that you can edit. And that will be the same for students. 